All we kept thinking about for the whole process was what you said to me in our first meeting, which was we just want to write the greatest love song. I've been here before. It's really important that you have a song that matches the feeling and the tone of the film. And Sam Smith, we couldn't have picked anybody better. I remember sending an email to my agents in America, probably the cockiest email in the world, and I just said, is there any way that I could do the Bond theme? The next thing I know, I was asked to go to Pinewood Studios and meet with Barbara and Sam. I'm prepared for this. He really took it very seriously. He got really into reading the script and talking to Sam, having many meetings with him. I think it will go down as being one of the greatest Bond songs in history. What's amazing about a Bond song, as good as yours, is that it can actually help storytelling as well. And what's lovely about when you get a song early that you love, it starts talking back to the movie as well. For me, the most timeless thing you can do outside of making your own records, in terms of film or anything, is Bond. It's the most timeless, classiest thing to me there is to do. So to be in a shortlist of something like that is unreal, but to do it, it just hasn't sunk in. Cause the writing's not in the way.